How do you get your expensive race rubber to the track when you only have a two-door coupe? With a tire trailer. Today I'm going to be talking about the utility trailer that I use to get four spare tires and spare gear to the track with my 350Z. The basis of this utility trailer is a small $200 Harbor Freight utility trailer with a max rated load of about a thousand pounds. Once the trailer is assembled, to get full use of a trailer you're going to have to divide the work surface into two. Back half devoted solely to tires and the front half to extra gear. We'll start by taking a closer look at how I hold the tires. The easiest way I found to do this was have two boards at a 45 degree angle make a trough for the tires to sit in. The same way they're sitting now in their tire rack, they sit on the trailer secured with three ratchet straps just to make sure they're as secure as possible. For the front half of the trailer, I have a large Tupperware container and a small air pig. Both the air pig and the container are bolted to the board that holds them to the trailer and ratchet strapped just in case. You don't want one of these falling off at 65 miles an hour. A few key features to take note of is the fact that all lights are individually grounded as opposed to the central ground recommended by the instructions. The wood I'm using for the deck has several layers of a heavy duty outdoor latex paint. You don't want this rotting on you and having parts falling off on the interstate. And I also added several eye hooks all over the trailer so I can attach ratchet straps wherever I need to. My trailer is currently running the smaller 8 inch diameter wheel. I originally wanted the larger 12 inch diameter wheel, but it was out of stock the time I was purchasing the trailer. Luckily, I've had zero issues with it, even up to speeds of 75 miles an hour. The real problem is that these spin a lot faster than the larger diameter wheels do and can heat up your wheel bearings, but as far as I can tell, it doesn't seem to be an issue with my current setup. Make sure you buy a spare wheel to attach to the trailer. You really don't want to be stranded in the middle of nowhere over a $50 wheel. I've got mine harmlessly mounted under the trailer. One other thing I would recommend is repacking the wheel bearings with a good quality grease before you assemble the trailer. They looked okay when I originally inspected them, but it never hurts to go ahead and pack them with heavy duty grease now instead of having a failed bearing on the side of a highway later. Even after several track days and long trips on the interstate, I've had zero issues out of this Harbor Freight trailer. I'll put a cost breakdown in the description, but for about $300 you can have this exact setup minus the tools and air pig. It really is a great little trailer, and I could definitely recommend it for someone who's in the market for a small utility trailer. So if you have a Miata, or a Corvette, or even like me, a 350Z, and you need to take some spare stuff to the track that won't fit in the vehicle, this is a great way to do it. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>